Well, praise the Lord in Jesus' holy and blessed name. What a beautiful day it is to be in Jesus. So, amen. Amen. Well, Brother Tom is with you here, and this is a ministry of Jesus Christ. And today, brothers and sisters, a conversation about the days in which we live. Today, it is, we're living in days where it's the end of an age. It's the end of the church age. And unfortunately, there are many today who have decided that Bible prophecy, the study of end times, eschatology, uh, have been put on the back burner, ignored, or for a myriad of reasons from those who just feel that it's a waste of time to those who feel that uh, because of the misuse and the those who have abused it over the years uh, that it's best left alone and we'll just talk about good happy clappy stuff and we'll praise the lord this is a mistake particularly since we do in fact live at the end of this age bible prophecy one quarter 25 percent of the Bible is Bible prophecy, either in direct prophecy uh, concerning things that will happen or through promises that God has made. We realize that God has made over 7,400 promises, many of which have been kept, but there are many yet to be kept. 7,400, and those that have been kept kept perfectly. There were over 300 direct prophecies concerning the first coming of Jesus Christ, all fulfilled to absolute perfection, absolute perfection. Why then would we think that in any way, shape, or form that those that remain will not also be kept in absolute perfection? And therefore, we ought to learn the lessons that they provide. Well, we ought, because as I say, we do live in the end of the age. The Lord Jesus Christ is going to return, and likely sooner than later. Hence, for those who know the Lord Jesus, this is a really good time to know him well. To be close, get close, stay close. Morning, noon, and night. Oh, indeed. And for those who do not, this is a really good time to get your house in order. Because once he does come, oh Lord. And so now is the acceptable time. It really is to say yes to Jesus today. For those who are procrastinators and put off until tomorrow what they can do today, that is a process that ought to be reconsidered as well. Because the Lord, we are at a point when the Lord can come any day, any time for his church, for his bride, to take us home. And so there is no guarantee of tomorrow. Well, as there is in life in general, we really, you can't know that you even will be here tomorrow under any circumstances. But with the coming of the Lord drawing nigh at hand, all the more reason to do today what you can do today. And so if you don't know the Lord Jesus as your Savior, today is a good day to meet him, to believe on Jesus, the finished work of Jesus. For we are all sinners separated from God. I know that's not popular either, but it's the truth. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God and are in need of forgiveness. And the fact is that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. His shed blood, the price of your salvation, the forgiveness of sin, Jesus Christ crucified, went to the cross, bled, died, was buried, and 
rose again the third day. And that's an important distinction to know as well. He did rise from the dead. Jesus is alive, a living Lord, a living Savior. And as they saw him ascend into heaven, the two men in white garment, angels, said to them, Why stand you here gazing up into heaven? Know you not? That as you've seen him go, so shall he come. Well, Jesus is coming again. Today is the day to know for sure that he's coming for you, not against you. Oh, praise the Lord. Oh, praise the Lord. Well, just a thought, brothers and sisters. Pay attention, for the time draws nigh. It's even at the door. Our Lord Jesus is coming soon. Be ready. Oh, praise the Lord. Pay attention to prophecy. Don't ignore it. In Jesus' holy and blessed name, in Jesus' holy and blessed name, amen, amen.